In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use any websites as your rapid knowledge base. And to show you, I'm going to demonstrate it on a real estate website. I have a real estate website here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the listings on this website, create a knowledge base from it and feed it into Wappy. So what I'm going to do first is click on search properties. I'm not going to select anything here. We can just click on search properties. And we need to inspect the link when we get a result. You can see that the link that points to the listings is properties.emr.com slash n slash property search. And what we can do here is delete this part. So we can leave slash n slash property search. And what we are going to see is that it will list all the listings that are on the website. You can see that it has 312 units, which represents the total count of the listings. And what we will do is we will grab this URL and we will crawl through all the pages and we will create a Trieve dataset from these listings. So let's go to Trieve.ai and you need to create an account. I already have one, so I'm just going to log in. And once you're logged in, you will see the dashboard. Here we can click on create a new dataset. And I'm going to give a name to the dataset, which will be Imar Properties. Then we can click on create a new dataset. And once we have a data set, we can go to the crawling options. And here we need to paste in the URL. So I'm going to go back to Imar and copy this URL and paste it in the site URL field. And here you can select the interval you want it to crawl through these pages. So let's say you want to refresh your web knowledge base every day or every week. You can just click on this and select how frequently you want it to run. I'm going to select daily. And down here in the include URL regex, also paste the URL. And at the end, I'm just going to write a star. So this will mean that it will go through all the pages that comes from the property search. And down here, we can just click on start new crawl. Then we can see that it started crawling the website. You can see the status which is pending. It needs a couple of minutes until it finishes. So I waited a couple of minutes and you can see that it processed 29 pages. And we can already test it out. So we can go to chat and I'm going to ask, recommend me a waterfront property. And it's going to go through the data set and it will recommend me a property. And you can see that it gave us a recommendation. So now we can connect Triv to our Wepi account. So let's open Wepi. And let's open our voice agent. Let's go to assistance. And I'm just going to include answer to all the questions from the knowledge base. Then we can click on publish. And currently we don't have any knowledge bases. So we need to connect three with Wepi. And to do that, let's open the Wepi documentation. And we need to find the knowledge base. Let's find the create knowledge base endpoint. Here you can click on try it. We need to get our authentication token. So let's go back to Wepi and get our token. Then we can paste it in. And what we need to do here is open this up and click on create plan. And to the provider ID, we need to get our Triv dataset ID. So let's go back to Triv and click on overview and here we can find our dataset ID. So let's just copy this and go back to Wepi. Let's also add the search plan and select hybrid. And also add the scroll threshold, which can be zero. And once we have that, click on send request. It looks like it threw an error. So before we create a knowledge base, we need to grab our Trieve API key. So let's go back to Trieve and click on create a new key. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Wepi. Then we can click on generate new API key. Let's copy this and go back to Wepi. And we need to find provider keys here and look for Trieve. Once you found it, let's just paste our Trib API key here. Then we can click on save. And now we made a connection between Trib and Wepi. So now we can create the knowledge base. So let's go back to the documentation. And I'm going to add one more property, which will be the name. 
And here we can give a name to our knowledge base. So I'm just going to call it Imar Properties. Then click on Send Request. It looks like it worked. So let's go back to Webby and refresh the page. And now we can see that the knowledge base dropdown appeared. So we can click on Select Knowledge Base and let's select Imar Properties. Then we can click on Publish. And once we have that, we can call the voice agent. Hey there, this is Harry from Diamond Estates. How can I help you? Hi, can you recommend me any waterfront properties? Certainly, I can recommend a few waterfront properties for you. Here are some options you might find interesting. One, Dubai Creek Residences. Located in Dubai Creek Harbor, this property offers stunning waterfront views. For example, the unit DCDXB Creek Residences, South P2, 3302 features two bedrooms, an area of 2,663 square feet, and is priced at AED 4,451,888. Palace Residences North, also situated in Dubai Creek Harbor, this property provides luxurious waterfront living. The unit DC Palace Residences, North B2P04, has three bedrooms, spans 1,912 square feet, and is priced at AED 3,919,888. Each of these properties offers unique features and stunning views. If you'd like more information or have any specific preferences, feel free. And this is it. Now you have a web knowledge base that you can use for any property websites. If you need an AI voice agent for your business, you can reach out to me on my email or you can visit my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.